welcome or welcome back to Zoe Supernatural. My name is Graham and today I will tell you about the history of Alton House. Alton House is a 17th century house which sits in the ruins on a hill next to Anfield in Bedfordshire, England. The house was built around 1615 for Mary Damager, Countess of Pembroke. It was said around 1621, not long after the house was completed, the Countess was visited by King James I. However, not long after this, on the 25th of September, the Countess unfortunately lost her life to smallpox. Two years after her death, the house was referred to James I by the Countess's brother, who then gave the house to Thomas Bruce, 1st Earl of Elgin, in 1624. The house became the main residence of the Bruce family for three generations until Thomas Bruce, 3rd Earl of Elgin, went into exile on the continent on account of his loyalty to the then disposed King James II. Thomas Bruce never returned to the house and in 1738 he sold the house to John Russell, 4th Duke of Bedford. His main seat was Roven Abbey, which is about seven miles from Helton House. His son, Francis Russell Marquis of Tavistock lived there from 1764 until he died in a hunting accident in 1767. The house was then passed down to his grandson, Francis Russell, 5th Duke of Bedford. After letting the deer park to a neighbour, he found it was, he was unable to let the house without the grounds and considered the house a liability. In 1794, he ordered Helton House to be demolished. All the furnishes were removed and even a roof was removed to be sold as building materials. The ruins are now owned by English Heritage and open to the public. In 2006, conversation works were carried out to make the ruins safe and boards were placed around the tale of the house's history. Fistus to the ruins have claimed several paranormal experiences. These include dark shadows moving around ruins at night, a night on horseback, and even an apparition of a little girl. Thank you for watching and please comment, like and subscribe and for now, stay spooky.